CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov continues our coverage now. Dana, Chicago seems like the obvious choice to party insider, uh, insiders, but maybe not all. Yeah, Erica and Joe, you know, the governor, the mayor, the mayor-elect say they are all thrilled that the convention is coming to the Windy City next year. But in this age of extreme political divides, some may understandably ask, why have it here in Illinois instead of a potential swing state like Georgia? Chicago 96. Chicago is no stranger to hosting conventions, the last in 1996. Looking live, a history in the making. Of perhaps the most infamous in 1968. But political times have changed across the country. Illinois is now considered a strong blue state, almost certain to vote for the Democratic presidential candidate in 2024. So why hold the convention in Chicago instead of a purple or red state where Dems really need the votes? I don't know that we have any good data that shows that, uh, you know, moving a convention to a particular state is helpful in terms of ultimately winning the electoral vote for that state. But what is helpful, according to political experts like Stephen Caliendo, is holding the DNC in a state that embodies what the party wants to highlight, in a state surrounded by potentially pivotal swing states. How does that help get Minnesota, Wisconsin, you know? I think it just sends a signal that, you know, it, it talks about sort of uh, the fact that this is, you know, seen as uh, a town made of working people. And not just working people, but progressives like mayor-elect Brandon Johnson, too. Those are the people that uh, Biden wants to appeal to, the progressive wing, the young people, to make sure that they come out and support uh, the Democratic ticket. But there's also a financial factor. Chicago leaders promise DNC leaders the party won't lose any money by having the convention here. Any city that's applying to host the convention, um, part of the agreement is that you will help fundraise for what is a large scale, complex national event. Leaders in all the finalist cities, New York and Atlanta, have to make that same financial promise to the party as well. Now, DNC leaders are expected to make a formal, official announcement about the convention Wednesday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m., right over there at the Shedd Aquarium. I'm live along the lakefront. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Joe, Erica. Dana, thank you. The Republican National Convention will be held a few weeks prior, July 15th through the 18th in Milwaukee.